Hey everybody, thank you so much for being part of this Sunday School lesson. I so appreciate you and just please know that being part of your children's ministries team, my name is Cindy Burns, Christy Finney, Kathy Inglade, and I so appreciate you and are thankful for you and especially appreciate your spending time with us. So grab your Bibles. We love the Bible. The stories are amazing in the Bible. We stand in awe and in wonder of those. Um, I just want to mention that we've got this family activity book that we love. And um, today we're on the fourth story. There are 13 stories in here. Then they go with our Sunday school lessons for September, October, and November. If for some reason you do not have a family activity book, we want you to have one. We are excited. Our church has been so generous that we want every family to have one. Call the church, 664-3600. Give us your name, address, and we will get one in the mail to you. Our Bible story today comes from the second chapter of Genesis, verses 5 through 23. In reading this scripture, I'm going to use to tell this story, I'm going to use the Celebrate Wonder Bible Storybook. God took Saul and formed it into the first human. God blew life into the human, and the human came to life. God asked the human to farm in the Garden of Eden. He helped God care for the plants and the animals. But the human was lonely. God said, it's not good for the human to be alone. I will make him a partner. They will help each other take care of the garden. God made animals and birds, but none of the animals were the right partner for the human. So God put the human to sleep and made a woman. The man said, this one is the perfect partner. Together, we will help take care of the garden. Let's listen to what Carly has to say about this beautiful Bible story. Greetings, friends. It's Carly. What a beautiful and amazing earth we get to live on. God's creativity imagined something so wonderful, and now we get to look around and see it each and every day. Do you want to hear something really cool? When God created human beings, God didn't just bring them here to sit around. They had an important role to play in creation. God had created so many animals that were living around the earth. But even though they had a home, they didn't have a name. It would be so hard to talk about animals if we didn't know what to call them. God brought the animals to Adam and invited him to name them. Adam got to show creativity and name the animals that were around. The bear, the cheetah, the shark, and the lizard. Wow! God also did something that was really awesome. God saw that everything God had created had a partner. The sun and the moon, the land and the sea, and the animals each had a partner too. God didn't want there to be just one human because that would be too lonely. So God created another human so they could be in a community. They were friends and they needed each other. Now everything that God had created had a partner and all creation could live and grow together. The story of creation is really exciting to me. It reminds me that God creates beautiful and good things. It makes me want to go and look around and see if I see new things. I want to read about new animals and think about how cool it is that the earth is full of such difference and beauty. God made sure the community of creation had all it needed to continue to create. Guess what? That means you and me. We get to create with God. We get to use our imaginations and wonder about all the possibilities of what we can make and what we can do. God celebrates our creativity and has asked humans to use our imagination since the very beginning. So what do you want to create? What do you imagine or see that would be beautiful or helpful in our world today? 
we all get to play a part and remember, we get to create with God. That's really awesome. Now, you get to wonder. And now, after hearing Carly and her message, let's close with a word of prayer. So will you put your prayer hands together for me, please? Creating God, thank you for inviting us to work with you to make the world a better place. Amen. Enjoy the lessons, the rest of the lessons. We have some activities for preschoolers, early elementary, older elementary. Enjoy these and just remember to just cherish. Be so thankful for the Bible and the scriptures and the stories and all that we learn about God's creation and God's goodness. And please remember, you are so loved. Thank you for being with us.